What's up all you nightly nights out there? It's the last night here, and today, um, you know what? I'm gonna address two things before I start. First, um, if there's any background stuff, somebody's mowing the lawn, sorry. And two, um, the, the green, that's my green screen, I don't have any background, so bear with me. So anyway, this is a long-awaited, well, long-overdue review of Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition Voyager Class Megatron. So let's take a quick look at the packaging, real quick. So, just make the lighting good. All right, Use it up. And yeah. So there's the there's the front, the side. Yeah, there's the front. Um. Now here's one thing I I don't get is he always has his shield in every picture I see by Hasbro, but he but none of the um, figures have that, like none of them. So yeah, um, and he's a merciless tyrant. Here's the back with the product shots: twenty-two steps, cross sales, choking hazard, all that. Um, And you know what's funny about this is that it actually has what is included. If it can focus, figure, one accessory, and instructions. That's okay. And you got blah blah blah, barcode, authentic, all that crap. Um, I'm sorry. My bad. I'll be uh, swearing. So yeah, so there's that. Um, so here is. Voyager, Megatron, why is it out of focus? Okay, there you go. Jesus. Sorry. Um. So, yeah. Um. So, and, and let me just clarify this right now. Any, um, anything that's, that looks like it's scraped up, that's not, that was not part of the actual, fi that was not part, part of the, uh, paint. Um, I attempted, little, little, I attempted to color it uh, bronze, but um, that failed. And some of the, well, marker is uh, coming off, so bear with me. So, let's see, there's a nose cone. Let's see, um, a lot of this gray going down, a lot of gray. In. It's supposed to be spicy mustard, so bear, bear with me. It's like a spicy mustard color. You can see, I like these teal thrusters right here, just as uh, on the leader. You can just kind of see his feet just hanging out right there. No big deal. There's the back. See the Decepticon symbol right there. Um, the bottom, as you can see, um, everything's compacted together. It's not a robot under a jet, but you know. Um, so, for a quick comparison with my other jet. Here he is with uh, the leader class mold. If I can get these two in shot, um, let me raise up a little bit so you guys have a little bit. And yes, there are two different colors for my green screen. It doesn't matter with the green screen, so bear with me. Um, so yeah, and this is for my stop motion that I'm continuing. Yeah, I'm continuing that stop motion. I don't know if I can get these both in frame. Hold on. Get these both in frame. Can get them out more. Is that in frame? Oh, and it's about to break. So yeah, and that came undone. Okay. But yeah, so you get a sense of scale of how these two, you know, scale with one another. It Hair trigger right there. I swear that thing is on a hair trigger. So centered. Sorry, I'm sloppy today. So yeah. So there you have that. And I think I think that's it for jets. Um I think. I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah, I think that's it for jets. 
So yeah, um, and he does come with an accessory, um, as you all know. Um, he comes with his, uh, his battle axe, which is pretty cool. Um, I haven't done anything to it because, uh, I thought it was fine. So yeah, and it's just a smaller version of, uh, of this one. This is the original one that the leader class came with. So yeah, this one isn't painted up, this one is silver right there. Um, so yeah. I can't tell which one has more detail. Um, and instead of the uh, the round peg right here, it has this uh, little rectangular peg. So yeah, yeah, that. Um, here it is with the uh, golden golden one. Let me see. Look at that. Um, here's the original uh, Temino sword that Prime came with. And, uh, here is the, um, the Temino sword from the Judgment set. Um, I will get the Judgment set reviewed. Uh, just, just wait. So, yeah, there you have that. Um, and yeah. Um, you can store this and destroy the... Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry about that, mate. Nobody listens. Excuse me. My family. Oh. I got three more years until I move. I'm probably going to move out of this house. But yeah. Um, so yeah, to store this, you just... Um, there's this rectangular peg. And... Just uh, pick that pick that on there. Just ignore the background sound. Sorry, I'm so sorry. So yeah, you can peg it on right there. So yeah. So yeah. Um, and I guess that's about it. So, um, I guess it's just transformation to get down to. So let's remove the, uh, the sword. And first thing we can do is we can raise these little bits up. Raise them up so we can get them out of the way. Uh, uh, fold them, not fold them down, just bring them down so they can get out of your way. Um, bring the legs, uh, spread them apart like that so they can get out of your way. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to untab these skirt pieces right here. Just to untap, because that unlocks everything. Then what you're going to do is you're going to bring all this and you're going to bring it up against against the front. Alright, like that. Um, now it's, we're going to start working on the legs. Okay, so what you're going to do for the legs is you're going to bring it, you're going to bring a leg down, you're going to untab the foot, um, you got to kind of finesse with it because uh, this tab goes in directly into the foot. Um, you're going to bring it down. You're going to make sure that this uh, little uh, shin pad is past uh, this point right here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to straighten out the leg. Then you're going to you're going to straighten out the foot. It's on a hinge. And uh, then what you're going to do with the wing is you're going to fold it at this, the base hinge right here. You're going to fold it so this comes up like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold up on, on this hinge. And there's, um, there's a tab in the leg that will go into a slot right there. Let me, let me turn that off. Is that better? I think, no, that's not better. Um, so yeah, just tab that in. And there you have a leg all done. Second first, just like the first. Okay, so now we have both legs. So what you're gonna do with these is you're gonna fold them up. They're on a, they're on a kind of like soft ratchet. You just fold them up like that. That makes the side skirts. So there you have that. And now you have the uh, lower body all done. So now we're gonna move on to the upper body. Um, untab. There's, there's no actual tab. It just thoops into place. Um, untab the arms. You're gonna bring out these chest pieces right here. 
just bring them out, get them out of your way. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to bring the arms forward, not all the way, not all the way, um, just enough to where you can, here, let me raise up the camera a little bit more. Is that better? Yeah, it's a little bit better. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this nose scone section and you're going to bring it down. And bring it down all the way, and it's on two separate hinges. So, and it won't actually lock into place, it'll just stoop into place. So, there you have that. Um, then, what you're gonna then you can you can uh, swing the head around. Um, then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring these um, in. Um, this tab goes into the chest right here, and kind of secures right here as well, right here in, these, in this little space. I don't know how well you can see it right there. Also secures in there as well. Just push all that in. You'll hear a little snap. Um, so yeah. Um, make sure that this is up because that secures uh, that secures this the most, as you know. Oh, it's gotten looser. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I act like that's a surprise. Um, but yeah, just straighten everything out. Um, then what you're gonna do with his arms? Um, this arm, you're gonna just bring out, bring out the fist. Um, it's kind of you gotta have to get your finger now right, right here to get it out, right above his fist to get it out. I did paint it. <laughs> um, then what you're gonna do with this one? Um, you're gonna well first you're gonna flip out, you're gonna flip, 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 flip. sorry. Um, then you're gonna flip the, uh, the gun, you're gonna flip the cannon around like that, you're gonna flip the, the muzzle down, and I think we're done, uh, we're done, Whee, we're done, so there you have, uh, Voyager Megatron in his robot mode, and I, I have to say, I, I really, the, from the moment I got this figure, um, I think it was last, yeah, it was last Christmas I got this figure. Um, I've been happy with him. So, yeah. So, let's take a look at that, not that chest, that head sculpt. Nice head sculpt. If I get to focus. Let me try it without the light. Let me try it with the light. So, yeah, nice head sculpt. Um, one thing to note is I painted up uh, this scar. That's not, that didn't come with it. Um, here's the thing. None of the Megatrons that I've seen have that scar. None of them. That's the key part. Not really, but, you know. Um, you know, going down the body. Nice sculpt. It's a very, very nice sculpt. Nice, nice clean cannon. I just love this thing. Um, the only complaint that I have is, uh, is, uh, when you're trying to stand him, like, a if you want to do like a like a battle pose, um, like like this, it, his feet aren't. I mean, that he stand he he stands just fine like that, but uh, most of the time I have to turn his feet using a transformation joint. So yeah. Um, so yeah, articulation. Let me back him up a little bit. Articulation wise, his head is on a ball joint, so he can not really wiggly waggly since it's on a short ball joint. Um, he can. Rotate his head uh, 360. Um, his arms can do a full 360. His arms can go in and out. And uh, this, uh, this little shoulder pad thing um, can accommodate the, um, the movement. Um, it's on a swivel right here. Um, so you can actually break off the arm and recreate the scene in the last night. Um, he has what seemed like a double jointed elbow. But uh, it isn't. Um, it's over 90 degrees of bend, and you can use that transformation joint right there. Um, I think it's the same for, um, yes, yeah, the same for the uh, other um, arm. No waist movement uh, due to how he transforms. Um, you can move these skirt pieces to the side. Um, Got to bring his arm up. Um, I'd, I'd um, un unfold this just to get it out of the way. Um, legs can go forward. They can go not all that back, 
due to due to this stuff in the back right here. Um, you can go in and out. You can do the full splits, um, swivel at the bicep at the bicep, bend at surprisingly uh, a little bit. I think it's a little bit under 90 degrees or or 90 degrees. Now I think it's a little bit over 90 degrees. Um, so yeah, there you have that. Um, and the feet can you can use that transformation joint to move the feet like that, or you can use that transformation joint for the ankle tilt. Um, so yeah. Yeah, center him. Yeah, center him like that. And you can give him his uh, his sword. You can hold it in either hand, but me personally, I like to hold it into his. Well, for you, it's right, but if you're facing him this way, it's his left. So yeah, um, so yeah, um, and he can and he can still store. Um, he can store it. Uh, there's a little little post on the back of his on his back. You can you know you like that. So yeah, I don't want my Megs holding his sword. He can hold it. He can hold his sword. Um, now, unlike the, uh, unlike the leader, there's, okay, now, you know what, I'm going to go into comparison first, so, for comparison, here he is with, um, well, first let's, uh, let's get down to the, uh, deluxes that I have. Um... Well, actually, yeah, um, let's, let's put him in the middle right here, and let's bring in, um, Barricade. Bring in Barricade, um, with the, bring in Barricade. Let's bring in Bazooka, who I will review um, shortly. Here he is with his uh, Decepticon brethren. Um, let's move on to the Voyagers. Well, actually, you know what? Um, here he is with uh, Deluxe Slash in his Dino mode. Uh, I didn't have time to uh, get him into robot mode. So there's uh, him with uh, Dinobot Slash. Um, Get into the Voyagers. Uh, here he is uh, with um, Voyager Hound from the last night. Hey, stand, man, stand, stand, because it's normal. Please, please stand. Keep in mind I'm on carpet, so you're standing just a minute ago. Come on. Oh, come on, not the drunken masters thing. Okay, there we go. And he has some extra weapons on him, so don't worry. So there you have that. Um, Another comparison, uh, TF Prime's, uh, Voyager Shockwave. Because I don't have, a uh, movie Shockwave. Um, here he is with, I've got a lot of comparisons. Well, not a lot, but seems like a lot. Um, with my custom, uh, Nemesis Prime. My ConstructBot's, uh, Nemesis, Pri Nemesis Prime. Stand, man. Stand because it's normal, please. Thank you. Let's see, they're about uh, maybe Megatron is a little bit shorter than Nemesis. Um, here he is with uh, Leader Megatron. No, he won't stand. 
I used to lock his knees, Jesus. Well, that's what I do. Anyway, stop. Um, this one's missing its spring, so it's not floppy or anything. What well, is floppy, but... Um, now, there's things that I like about him that I don't like about him. One is that, um... Is that he, uh, he has a mouth plate thing. He has a mouth plate thing. Um... Sorry, my mother. Hold on. Yeah, so... And, uh, some things I like about him that I don't like about him. Um, one is the Fusion Cannon because it looks more, uh, screen accurate than that. Um... What else? Uh... He has a much cleaner backpack. Um... What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, his face looks more screen accurate. Um, most people use their stop motions with him, but they're trying to find a way to make the battle mask incorpor incorpor incorporate the battle mask. Um, so yeah. So there you have that. And the, well, main, uh, comparison is with, uh, the last night... Optimus Prime. You can see how they look together. And they look good together. Obviously, Prime has the uh, judgment set. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, they look good together. I mean, so, yeah, you have that. And I think that's about it. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think it's about it. I, obviously, I love this. I love this figure. Um, I've wanted it ever. I wanted it ever since um, I heard about it because I I knew it was way better than this thing. Um, so yeah. Um, and I guess that's it now. Um, I will be live streaming today, um, the, the, the day I'm making this video, which is the 8th, uh, of August. Um, so look out for that. Um, and if this goes up, uh, later, then, um, then go check out my live stream, I don't know, uh, that I'll be doing. That I did. Um, so yeah. Um, so I guess that's it. So don't forget to check out my Twitter uh, for you know stuff. Um, don't forget to check out my mixer for Battlefront Two live stream. Um, I think I did one recently. I think I don't know. Um, so yeah. Um, so there is the Transformers the last night. Premier Edition, Voyager Class, Megatron, and this is Lucas saying, remember, if you're geek, that's cool. If you're not geek, that's cool, too. Be happy. Always be nightly. And bye.